Hi, welcome everyone. This is uh, Arvind Kumar and uh, thanks uh, for watching this video and giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts on uh, some of the concepts on ETL and uh, changing changing approach to ELT in data warehousing and data integration environment. Uh, I'm working in this area since 1999 and uh, started with the ETL on Informatica using Informatica. Uh, Informatica is a pretty one of the strongest tool uh, to perform ETL and uh, uh, there's a lot of advantages doing ETL because uh, ETL as it uh, you might be aware of ETL is extraction transformation and load you extract data from the source you take it out from the source database and then perform all kind of a transformation on an ETL server and then migrate or load the data to the target database so this is a, this was a good approach this was working very good uh, but there were some advantages and disadvantages to this approach one of the biggest advantage in this approach is that when you read, once you get the data from the source, you come out from the source and perform, you become in source independent and perform all kind of transformation, data manipulation on a different server other than the source. And then once it's done, then you push the data back on the, when the, when the data is ready, push the data back on the uh, database server to load. And uh, thus your code is pretty independent of your source database and target database. So Informatica provided all different type of plugins to connect different heterogeneous sources and different plugins to load heterogeneous targets. So in that way, it was a pretty good approach. And But the biggest disadvantage in this approach is because you have, the data is doing a couple of hops. You're reading from the source, bringing the data to ETL server. So this is one hop of moving the data across two servers. There will be latency issue, there will be IO issues. Then you perform all kind of a data transformation when the data is ready to load under target, then you will push the data back on database. There will be one more hop from one server to a different server. There will be again latency issue and the IO issue. To, to overcome this issue, uh, this uh, approach called ELT, which came in play, where we said we extract data, load data, and then trans transform to avoid and to have a minimum IO, minimum level of hops between two servers. So, uh, and, and the one big other reason is because nowadays the database servers are getting much more powerful and they are getting much more, they are very capable to perform efficient on a big volume, uh, big volume data. So your, your source to target, to deliver your data from source to target, your time reduces, shrinks if you have, if you have reduced your latency and IO issue. So ELT is a good approach and the ETL tools are uh, working together to use, to maximize the use of ELT approach. And Informatica has come up with a license called Pushdown to to use the power of database. ELT, when we do the Informatica, the advantage is all your code still remains in Informatica repository. So you will still collect your some some level of uh, uh, your metadata on your code and your executions. So whatever you write in Informatica, Informatica will try to translate that code using uh, some of the views, select insert statements. So when you look at the Informatica mapping, it will look like a regular Informatica mapping, but at the runtime, it will execute set of views, create some temporary views and execute select insert or select update statements on the database without bringing the data back on the ETL server. And this is working pretty good and uh, uh, there are some limitations, some challenges with that because all the functions used within Informatica language cannot be translated to uh, databases. For example, on Teradata, uh, it doesn't support sequence numbers, so sequence generator cannot be pushed down, uh, but it can be pushed down on Oracle because Oracle has equivalent sequence generator. And the other, there are some functions which cannot be used, some of the date functions cannot be used, uh, cannot be translated or pushed down to database. So developer has to be very well aware of what all functions can be used, what all functions cannot be used at the database level, so he can develop his mapping or his uh, Informatica code accordingly, which can be push down completely. But Informatica also support partial push down. It can do a source level push down only to a point where it can push down, then it will bring the data back to Informatica. And it can also do a target level push down, so it will read from the source and wherever it can possible, will try to push down to the database as far as possible. But when you do the source or a target based push down, there will be, you are doing IO because you are bringing the data on the Informatica server, but you might be doing a lot of uh, calculations uh, aggregation at the database level, not at the Informatica level. So that's the advantage you will gain when using Informatica. At the runtime, it will still capture most of your statistics, runtime statistics, 
uh, but informatica will lose some of the control like it cannot do constant based lo loading because that load group that that control goes to database so informatica doesn't have any control so definitely there are some advantages some some limitation using informatica pushdown but it's evolving it's a good approach and i think it will work good uh, you can always reach me my email address thank you very much bye bye